Only two high Templars are gonna fall quickly. He's gonna storm all he can, try to warp into an Archon, but it's not gonna be enough here. Noni losing a couple um, high Templars there, but he is delaying the mining. That's all he was attacking for. I mean, he has delayed the mining in the bottom right, delayed the mining here. I mean, he's in a good situation to move on and take this game. He's just, once he breaks the middle, it's gonna be all over, but he doesn't have a huge, huge army. He has a nice sized army, but it's gonna be reinforcing quickly. He has plenty of gateways here, but um, it's not like uh, his opponent's in a horrible situation. I mean, he hasn't rebuilt those factories, which I guess kind of hurt, but he he needs more factories, I feel, and he needs to try to keep his expansions up. Uh, the middle contained. This is one thing to note about this map when the Terran goes in the middle. Recalls can be very strong, what you saw Nani do, or Noni do, sorry, just because um, the Terran is always in their base. Uh, there's not too much of it, or always outside their base, that when you recall in the base in two expansions, it can be very strong here. And Noni, all right, finally, uh, missile turrets going up here to stop from Arbiters coming in. And he's just going to finally try to hold this expansion. I mean, he does have a group of vultures here to stop too much harassment. He really has taken the middle ground um, pretty firmly here. And now a huge recall going off here. Excuse me, I'm missing these all over the place. Um, drag couple, I, I got this at the end. He did kill several SCVs here, just really being a pain here. A huge stasis going off on a group of tanks, but it's not going to matter because he's not going to be able to clean up the rest of that battle here. Noni playing a really nice match here. Um, just really being a pain here. And basically making his opponent keep producing um, SCVs while he really wants to be cutting them not making them anymore he's going to keep making them make them our uh, arbiter coming in here is, is he going to go for another recall at this bottom expansion this would so not be worth it in so many ways he's not gonna be able to do anything a huge recall going off uh, he's gonna be able to if he, oh he's just gonna go for the command center snipe i don't know if this is completely worth it his army is going to be separated from his um from his own, his bigger army, I guess you could say. And this whole army is going to be taken out if uh, Fancy does this correctly. He's just going to try to delay it with mines here while his army comes. But he is going to get a couple SCV kills. And now he's going to siege up and he should be able to take care of this. I mean, obviously, Fancy with the superior army, a uh, group of dragoons and a, several zealots or a couple zealots here from Noni. And Noni's, uh, is he going to re-stasis them or um, re-recall them out? Or is he not going to be that baller? <laughs> How baller is Noni going to be today? I don't know. Um, but yeah, this yeah these um, dragoons just going to be isolated. Here he is going to re recall them out. And where did those did they go? I think they just went back to the middle of their base. All right, good. Um, Noni's trying to trick me, uh, make me look like a fool as an observer. Just uh, throwing up. Man, I'm saying oh, a lot. Sorry, I'm throwing up. Recall after recall, just being a pain, really doing a nice job. And his macro game is completely going in Noni's hands right now. Noni is has this game firmly. Uh, now it's up to him just to try to keep this going and try to take it on into the late game where he's going to. One, he's probably going to have to try to break this middle. Once he breaks the middle, this is all that fancy has going for him. But not a ton of tanks at all by any means. I mean, there could be a lot more out there. Just his economy has been disrupted after being disrupted after being disrupted. Not in a comfortable situation at all. But, I mean, really, right now, Noni can just... To have probes all over the path. These are suicide probes just so he can have a larger army here. Um, these probes are really depressed. They hate working for Noni. <laughs> I'm just going to go in and kill himself here. Very smart choice here. And now, oh wow, this is the time he feels he needs to attack a big battle coming in. This is all that Fancy has going for him. Fancy almost with a concave shape. Noni realizing that he is outnumbered in so many ways um, with the concave shape Terran um, strategy here. The, yeah, this is really isolating the six or this 12 o'clock expansion. Noni's going to have to lose this expansion. Um, it's going to be under fire quickly with a group of tanks here. And he's going to lose this expansion. And now this is the stuff fancy needs to do fancy's middle map his map control is taking over here noni has kept a lot of his focus though on his own expansions laying out this expansion now with a group of zealots here command center will be able to float off but he's going to be able to get several scv kills if those uh, zealots aren't just going to sit there lazy zealots um a lot of scvs transferring here i mean he has really stopped mining in all ways here and a group of dragoons coming in here to stop mining even more noni realizing that he has to win the macro game but this uh, expansion how is it saved Take the expansion. Fancy needs to kill that Nexus. Not sure exactly what he's doing. He's so focused on the harassment that Noni's throwing at him that he's um, not even um, focusing at all. But he has a strong push coming down. He could be aggressive here. Noni's army is not big by any means. Um, Where is his army? Coming in here, going to do a lot of... Oh, wow. These SCVs are going to get owned right here. They better transfer quickly. A lot of SCVs are going to fall. SCV blood all over the place. Too bad they don't bleed. Um... But Noni's going to come in here and try to save this expansion. Being shot down by a tank. The Nexus has lost all shield, but I think it'll be enough. Noni's going to clean this up all over the place. Fancy's army just can't be in the right place at the right time, it seems. Storm's going all over the place, but Noni's army, where is it? He's winning the macro game. He's doing everything. A huge counter push from Fancy could possibly win if Noni doesn't reproduce his army fast enough. Um, 
expect him to throw away some more probes just in hopes to make his army that much bigger here. High Templars are out, but they need support. He's been losing a lot of High Templars all over the place here. And this 6 o'clock expansion has been saved, but not before losing a lot of probes here. Yeah, he has enough Arbiters. He has everything. Now he just needs to reproduce his army. He needs High Templars, Dragoons, and Zealots are generally the core of the Terran army here, or for Protoss' army. M building another command center, he's going to try to take this expansion once again. Oh my gosh, Arbiters getting involved here. Uh, <laughs> wow, these Arbiters are going to take out this SCV, just to show you how weak and Arbiters are. Four Arbiters trying to take down one SCV, and they barely do it under 40 seconds. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, now this bottom right expansion isn't up in mining. This 6 o'clock expansion isn't up in mining yet. Uh, just can't be, seem to be in the right place at the right time here. And, oh, wow, Recall going to go off with a small group of army to take out this. But only losing a couple of um, units in the middle of the map. Command Center is going to chill there. Possibly some long-distance mining. I think he wants to get the 6 o'clock expansion up and running. He just can't seem to be in the right place. Bottom right expansion about to go up and running. And finally, he brings some units over this to take care of this. Now, um, units coming over to clean this up. Fancy finally probably going to get these two expansions up and running fairly quickly here. But no army is reproducing and it's reproducing at a very high speed here and he's in a good situation to move on and take this game definitely the macro game is in noni's hands just been a pain all over the place exactly what you want to be so mr fancy may not be or maybe too fancy after all and may actually fall to noni here um i think i think noni this noni could win this game without too many mistakes in here and this he's gonna lose his arbiter that's a little careless uh, Arbiter is not the strongest unit against Goliath here. Noni just resisting to f attack his opponent right here. And he might actually go in for an attack here. But a lot of mines, a huge army here. Noni needs to back off quickly, realizing he's in a bad situation here. Oh, EMP going off on the Arbiters here. Storms going off everywhere, but not before a huge EMP on the Arbiter, on the, on the, um, Science vessels, excuse me. Storms going off everywhere. Noni without a big enough army to put too much pressure on, just weakening it. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. This 12 o'clock expansion is now back up and running with a lot of probes at it. But expect to see that fall quickly if Noni can't reinforce his army within seconds. That is exactly where Fancy is heading, knowing it's a uh, an expansion that he can take without too much trouble here. He's just got to be smarter. He needs to pick off these storms uh, quicker. These vaults, I mean, this is a little sloppy here by Fancy, letting one eye temple and a couple dragoons, letting the eye temple get off about two or three storms here and now he's going to come back from this angle noni is actually separating his opponent's army huge stasis going off here noni might have enough to break this after all i mean the army for fancy looks so big on the mini map but it's actually not it's all mines here noni's going to win this big battle noni's going to move on to win this game i feel controlling this game interesting to see how he's going to play it from here is he going to go for the choke is he going to go for the throw or is he going to try to go and just limit the macro game even more and just basically make his opponent give up I mean, one thing about StarCraft that I think people forget, you don't have to beat your opponent. If they give up, it's still a win for you. Uh, Overaggression in situations like this can be devastating for Noni if he chooses to do that. But yeah, I mean, surrounding these tanks, he's going to be able to take out these tanks and uh, desperately fancies trying to save him, knowing, knowing he needs to, but uh, storming <laughs> everywhere. I mean, really, and these tanks are separated from their army, not going to be able to do anything, but fancy without a huge army at all. And Noni, I mean, he's still mining from one. Oh, he's not mining from there. Only mining from one place, actually. Oh, boy. Noni. But he has a lot of... um. Yeah, I mean, he has 7,000 minerals and 3,000 gas. I mean, but um, he's I mean, he's banking so bad right now because he got such a macro game ahead. And right now, he's just going to be able to pump a lot of Zealots and Dragoons and High Tamplers out. But he's not going to be able to, I mean, keep this going. He probably wants to get another expansion up. That's why I feel if Noni could actually go for this expansion, kill it, and take it himself, I feel that would be a smart cause. But really, Fancy doing a nice job of just separating his army. And I Fancy got his reinforcements out quickly. It's going to be able to hold that middle ground. And after all, Noni might not be in a great situation. The longer this goes on, Fancy is mining from two. Noni's mining from 